Oh, hey, people of the grid. It is Wednesday, August the 31st, and we are up bright and early. We're just packing up the trailer to secure everything. Back to school shopping, so Tammy and the kids are going to get that done. I'm going to be at the home office, and that's going to be most of the day today. I'm going to give you guys a tour so you can see what our uh, camping setup looks like. Yeah. What we'll do is we'll start at the front of the trailer, we'll work our way to the back, and then we'll wrap up the middle. Yeah. So this uh, this is the very front of the trailer. That's a, a sliding door that just slides in to cover up the opening. And this is where the uh, the kids sleep. So we got four bunks. Ethan's over here. Amelia's over here. Sammy Pepper's down here. And then Melissa gets this spot. The beauty of this space is we've got a little TV and movie set up. We've got uh, a vent they can open. And for heating, they've got a, a vent as well. We just put these these things on here so that when we travel with the trailer we don't get dust in it and the little things don't fall inside and then when you move, make your way to the very back of the trailer this is uh, this is mine and Tammy's room we've got her side over there my side over here and then we have a sliding door in here as well that just sort of slides to cover up that opening which is really nice little bathroom in here we've got the shower with a skylight we've got a vent in here as well which will close since we're leaving and uh, of course the toilet which is a nice to have with running water and then this is our sort of main living space we've got a table which is kind of tight for the six of us now but uh, it still works we can all fit there and snuggle in and have a good meal my favorite thing to bring camping a couch and then lots of storage which we really like storage for games storage for games uh, crafts and stuff and then bags and serviettes and stuff over here we have like a mini pantry in the top space and then in the bottom space is where we've got our plates and uh, cups and stuff nice fridge a freezer that runs on propane fridge also runs on propane and that fridge we just leave running all summer so that it's nice and cool and we just go shopping stock it up we're good to go microwave stove top and oven Tammy's actually cooked full-size turkeys in that oven this is uh, an ice maker that Tammy received as a gift this is one of my favorite additions to the trailer and we've got two solar panels on the roof that feed four six volt deep cycle batteries this thing allows us to camp for any number of days without power so we don't get TV and stuff, but the fridges work, the heater works all night, and it's all off of solar. So we are actually set up to camp without power, and we use that a few times this summer. Works really, really nicely. And then a double sink. Oh, and of course uh, we have a little TV. That TV sort of slides out to over here, so that when you're in the couch and on this table, you can have a really nice view of it. This thing folds out into a double bed. So it's really nice to we fold that out, inflate the mattress, and then we can watch movies from there. Right above my head here is an air conditioner. So we've got air conditioning for when we're plugged in. So that's it. That's our uh, little trailer. We've had this thing. It's a Keystone trailer. It's out of the States, VR1. We've had it for nine years. This is our ninth year in this thing. We start camping in uh, early May usually, and we go right to the end of October. Lots of fun in this thing. So quick update, we uh, loaded everybody up, we hit the road and we're heading back to Calgary. We got about 10 minutes out and then uh, my co-pilot reminded me that we forgot the kayaks. So we're going back. Oops, yeah, it's all Tammy's fault. <laughs> nice try. It is. <laughs> I've got it uh, ratcheted down, secured. I think we're okay. We'll see. Okay. 
kayaks are attached, four of them, two adults and two kids. Two kids. Got them tied down really well. Um, I know it's going to affect range. We have uh, 138 kilometers of rated range remaining. Distance to uh, home is 101 kilometers. I think it's going to be pretty tight. Have a look. So yeah, 101 kilometers. The trip computer says we're going to make it with 7%. I think we're going to make it with like 1%. Because it because it doesn't know yet we have the kayaks attached. It hasn't adjusted. Exactly. Hey, that's cute. Huh. We uh, pit stopped in Nanton and stocked up on candy and chocolate. We are 42 kilometers from home. The car says we have 46 kilometers. The trip computer says we're going to make it with zero. So we could, we got two choices to try the town of High River, town of Okotoks, or um, we can just run for home, which is 41 kilometers and charge there. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop our speed just a little, so not really an issue, and uh, ooh, just went to minus one. But uh, I think we'll be able to make it home, no problem. What do you think? Tight? You want I, to stop? No, I, I think uh, we might There's have a to bit slow of an down a little more, but... Yeah. I mean, we could go to Okotoks if we need to. Yeah. There's a bit of an impact because of the kayaks, not Wind super resistance. aerodynamic. Yeah. yeah, so that's uh, our, our um, since last charge, our usage is 229 watt hours per kilometer. Usually with this loading, with nothing on top, we would be around 180 uh, watt hours. So. Yeah, maybe we'll uh, head for Okotoks. So you just changed the plan. I, ha I haven't decided. On the fly, you changed the plan. <laughs> I'm undecided. Okay. We'll keep you posted based on how it goes. People of the grid, don't uh, you don't want to listen to your co-pilot. Just gets you into trouble. Don't oh, listen to the co-pilot. Look at her. She's hey, laughing. She's the only reason we have kayaks on the top is because of our co-pilot. So we could have did it. <laughs> Check it out. I'm chickening out because we got a perfectly good stop ahead. Why would we why would we risk it when we don't have to? Because we were gonna make it. I'm going safe. Playing it safe. I can't believe it. I've never seen you play it safe in your life. I'm playing it safe. We're gonna we're gonna <laughs> this way I can speed up. So I've sped up now. I'm five kilometers over the speed limit. I'm doing 115 kilometers per hour. We're just gonna reroute through Okotoks, which is right on our way. Like it it doesn't it's even not on our way. We have to go out of our way. Well, it costs us like three minutes to get to the charger there. It'll probably cost us five or ten it. max to I'll charge. Plus, there's Pokemon. And then uh, oh, now I know oh. the truth. Pokemon. <laughs> See. All right, so we're in the uh, town of Okotoks. We have 21 kilometers uh, to get home. That's how far we need to go, and we made it here with 13. So we only need eight kilometers. We'll take it up, uh, what did I say we needed, 21? We'll take it up to like 30 or 35 or so. That should get us home. Nice thing about this charger is it's 80 amps, so. So for the record, we've been here, 11 minutes would have been enough and we could have left. It's been 15 minutes and we're still gotta stay for what, another 15 because Tammy deployed a Pokemon lure module. So did I. So yeah. did Ethan. There's two uh, yeah, stops here. Yeah, right now here. we have 2%. That's what we would get home with. All right, we're back on the road. Total pit stop time was, uh, we were there for a half hour because uh, the Pokemoners had to play. We could have been on our way in 11 minutes and we would have made it home. So not then a big we deal. we may have made it home. No, we would have. No, we, we, we would have made it home without the stop. Well, probably, but now we know we're gonna make it home. You know what the problem is? Do you know why we had to stop? Why? It's because Mike can't go slow in a Tesla. So for us to have to slow down in order to make our destination, Psh, that's they can't like, hear you. It, just, Psh, it doesn't static. happen. So. Static, sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, people of the grid. That is a good tie down job. We made it home. They didn't even budge, didn't even have to readjust. Four kayaks, all of our kids, safe and sound. Tammy is gonna do a quick turnaround and she's gonna go um, back to school shopping for everybody. I'm heading back to my desk. Hey 
Nathan. Yeah. Are you done yet? So, everybody having fun shopping? Yeah. Yeah? It's a riot? Sure. Should we have a snack? Because it's been exhausting? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right, so Sam, what do you still need? A sweater. And? That's shoes. All. Oh, yeah. And a backpack. Yeah. Amelia? Sweater, shoes, and shirts. No, just sweaters and shoes. Lissa, what do you still need? Um, shoes. Uh, well, shoes and maybe a sweater. You should never leave this stuff to the last minute. It's never fun. You picked a pair of shoes? Which I ones? Polka dot aquarium or something, yeah. aren't they? They're called like a blue aquarium, yeah. And what did you end up with? Show me. Nice. What did you end up with? Oh, very nice. I like them. They got flowers. Oh, hey. What did you get? I got these ones. All right. Hey, are all those for you? Happy birthday me. Thanks for carrying everything, dear. Yep. Oh, been a while since I've been in this car. I am now in the Nissan Leaf. Gonna give it some love today. Um, I need to go meet Tammy and the kids at uh, Boston Pizza. Figured since it's our last free evening before the kids go back to school, we'll just take everybody out for a little celebration dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Every Wednesday at Boston Pizza, this dude He's making balloon animals for okay. the kids. I'm on a vlog! Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to make my mask. You got me one of these. That's cool. And what, oh, listen, what'd you get? I have chicken. Sammy, what'd you end up with? A unicorn. Very nice. Oh, I love your unicorn. What'd you end up with? An elephant. And what do I get? a shirt. What'd you get, little boy? I, I just got dinner. I got nothing. Thanks for dinner. You're welcome. What'd you get in the mail there, big guy? My Alberta's operator's license. Oh, so yeah. Now I can drive. Nice. Ethan's learner's license. Congrats, buddy. Thank you. Okay, get ready for bed. I'm heading back to my desk. Well, just getting wrapped up over here. Looks like uh, we made it. Tammy got everything done. The kids are all set up. They're very excited. Um, they got their new clothes for school, all the equipment they need. Tomorrow is the big day. Just another day. Summer is over for us, back to school. But the cool thing is, is there's just two more days and we're going back out for camping. This will be the last big hurrah, the long weekend. Three days of camping plus Friday night, so three and a half days. It's going to be good. Tomorrow's going to be a big day because uh, we're going to be dropping the kids off and getting all of that stuff done. September 1st tomorrow. Hope you guys had a great day. Um, tell your friends. Don't forget to click subscribe. And thanks for watching. Talk to you guys soon.